Philadelphia, the famous family brought with them everything from elaborate visual effects straight out of Star Wars to a mammoth stage five stories high and iridescent costumes, which just by themselves were said to have cost $1 million. But for Stacey Evans of North Philadelphia, this concert was more than just one more super hype pit stop for the Jacksons and their megastar leader, Michael. This was yet another chapter in a passionate 16-year love affair with a group of brothers who first managed to turn her head their way back in the late 60s. I remember the first time I saw them very well. I was downstairs in the kitchen. They're little. They're like me. You know, I can identify with that. Stacy Evans did a little more than just identify with the Jacksons. She turned her bedroom into a shrine to Michael, Jermaine, Tito, Marlon, and Randy. These days, Stacy says her bedroom is merely a pale imitation of what it used to look like. That's because she's now 26 and a college graduate who majored in dance. From looking around the room, you might think that, you know, here's another girl. She's collected all this junk. She's like really, really, you know, fanatical about them. And that's true. They're people, too. Stacy does admit it took some 16 years to arrive at this mature perspective. And along the way, she managed to collect every word, magazine picture, button, record, and piece of clothing that is even vaguely related to the Jacksons, all of which cost her. I never knew how much I had. Stacy has so many Jacksonian items that she was able to deck out her home in memorabilia for the Vision's cameras. Every room except the kitchen and the bathroom. Habit. It's been an experience, I think. The Jacksons are definitely Stacy's thing, so much so that she bought tickets for all of last fall's performances. That should hold her until the Jacksons return to the East Coast. Meanwhile, Stacy Evans plans to continue collecting, not with the same fervor she showed in the past, but with some restraint and decorum. After all, one simply can't fail to update what must be one of the largest collections of Jackson doodads in the Delaware Valley. And she's not about to donate it to whatever worthwhile charity or museum that would promise to take care of it. It's too valuable. It's coming up.